So today we're going to test out this new feature in Photoshop which has a photo restoration filter. I've got this image here, also got an AI image we're going to have a look at as well and see what kind of results we get. But this image is where we're going to start. It's heavily scratched. I actually found this online under Creative Commons license. I'll pop a credit in the uh, description below if you want to check it out. But um, this is essentially what the photo has looked like before being restored. And I've actually restored this in the past to here uh, as a bit of an experiment. So we're going to actually have a look and see what kind of results we get and also show you how it works. So I've got the layer selected with this image. I'm going to go to Filter, Neural Filters. I'm going to move this over. And if you scroll down the bottom, if you've updated Photoshop, there's a photo restoration section here. You may have to download. Uh, I've already got it there, so I'm going to turn it on. And we get some settings here, including this, some adjustments as well. And it's actually already processing uh, something and you can get an idea of where it starts. So I've already improved the face a little bit. Like if I zoom in, you can sort of see the face is a little bit clearer, uh, but there's also a ton of scratches. So I'm gonna just up the scratch reduction a bit. Keep in mind, this does take time. I'm actually editing out the weights on this. So that was about probably 30 seconds or so. Uh, so it's done a pretty good job removing most of the scratches, but not all of them. If I crank this right up to full, let's see what results we get. So it's actually started to mess the photo up a little bit, but uh, I was going to see if we can correct it by putting the photo enhancement up and the face enhancement to see if it actually improves that in, at all in any way. So not quite. The scratch reduction does seem to interfere with some of the AI doing this. So I'm going to dial that right back. So that's probably about the best we can get at the moment. I could probably play with the noise reduction, but there's not a lot of noise in this photo right now. Color noise reduction is the same. Halftone artifacts are not really there. So these aren't, don't really apply to this photo, but it's not looking too bad. It's uh, still got some scratches there we could probably remove by hand, but it has done a lot of the work for us. So if I just click OK out of that. So now we have the original and where we've landed. And if you zoom in on the face here, you can see it's done a really good job. It's used some AI to actually introduce facial features, which is really cool. And if you compare that again to what we've actually, what I've done, it's actually got more information there. I've added some noise in there artificially, but um, you can see here we've got this and mine. So it's actually done a really good job of bringing out those faces. So what I would think now is if I'm actually doing this myself, if I turn this off, and I'm sticking to this image, which is a bit more noise on it, pasting that in place. What results do I get on an image I've previously done, which is a little bit far from perfect? What can I make happen with that? So neural filters again. So we're gonna go back down, turn that on again, and see what results we can get. So now if I zoom in, you can see it's really done a good job with the face, the photo enhancement. I'll just turn these up a little bit more. I've removed a lot of these scratches myself, but, uh, in regards to updating an image I've already worked on, it has done a pretty good job of that. Zoom in again to these faces. You can see it's actually denoised and improved the image a lot. Especially around the eyes here, you can see the eyes are a bit better. So even though it's not a one-stop solution necessarily for a heavily damaged photo, it is a great solution for speeding things up or improving previously restored photographs. So, in regards to AI art, if we switch to this image here, which I have recently used, I used GFP GAN and a little bit of some neural filters to get this result in the past. Let's see what we can get without all, without stacking all these things like we did last time. So if I go up to filter and neural filters with this AI art image, I'm gonna scroll down and turn on the photo restoration feature and we'll see what kind of results we get. So smoothed out the face, but it hasn't really enhanced the eyes. If I crank that enhanced face right up to full, it just kind of enhances the face. It doesn't actually really add to it in any way. So before I tried adding smart portrait and moving the eye direction to see what results I would get, and it doesn't really do anything. If I go to cancel, now this time if I go to neural filters and go to smart portrait first, I can move the eye direction and it actually does fix the eyes. So Smart Portrait is still better for fixing eyes on AI art images, but if you go in afterwards and do your photo enhancements, your photo restoration, I should say, it does actually restore the rest of the photo. So just a little tip if you are working uh, with AI art images or if you're getting, or just any images where you're not quite getting the results you want, try Smart Portrait first and then move on to the actual uh, photo restoration and uh, you can get some pretty cool results that way. 
So before, so this is after, before, after, before, after. Not bad. Still not quite as good as using GFP GAN and then using Photoshop to get a good face result, but uh, still worth playing around with. Anyway, what do you think of this? Uh, it's obviously only early days and they're probably going to work on it a bit further, but uh, if you have a subscription to Creative Cloud, check that out update so your software and see what kind of results you get with some of your photos. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video. I hope you have a great day.